Welcome to the Palava Hut Show, and I'm your host, Sana Akibu. The Palava Hut Show will bring you interviews and, on guests that will inform, educate, and entertain you on various facets of African culture from here in the USA and abroad. Thanks for tuning in to the show, and let's get started. Today's guest is Kobe Maxwell from Ghana. He is a musician and an actor and a movie producer. Join me in welcoming Mr. Wack Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe Maxwell, yes. welcome to the Palava Hut Show. Thank you. I'm it's very glad that you're here. I know you're a very busy man. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Well, um, before we get started with any other questions, tell me a little bit about your background and who you are as a person. Well, um, Kobe Maxwell from Ghana, of course, West Africa. Um, I've been playing music for since I was age, age of 12 years. I played bass guitar. And um, I've, I've played for years, and I've played with a lot of different artists and all that. And then I decided to start recording my own songs. And here am I with a fourth album. So Wow. <laughs> OK, OK. Yeah, yeah. So what's the name of your um, fourth album? The fourth one is called Do It. Mm, Do It. With, um, Do It, huh? Yeah, it has a 12 tracks on it. So <laughs> a hard work of two years and finally um, released. So it's. Um, it's, it's tough, you know, right now with the industry, but I'm able to um, finish a project with collaborating with a different artists from different countries mm -hmm. in um, Africa just to bring different culture, music, background, you know, all together with my style of music. It's amazing, and it's, you, you enjoy the CD. <laughs> okay, great. And you hear the songs on it. So um, I know that you are Ghanaian. How did your Ghanaian culture play into the musical um, aspect of your career? You know, African culture is, is really similar. It's like, you know, what we do in Ghana is amazing that they do that in Cameroon. They do that music we play in Ghana. High Life is actually influenced by bebop, mm -hmm. jazz music. But now, the young generation, we have advanced it to really make it the same thing plays in Nigeria, mm -hmm. in Cameroon, in mm -hmm. Congo. Mm -hmm. So um, we connect with the music and food and, you know, culture really influenced with uh, different countries. So. Um, there's not much difference between what we do in Ghana compared to others that you know other music in Nigeria or mm -hmm. um, Congo or Cameroon, so it's easy. And I've been playing for I've been playing different music from different countries for a while, mm -hmm. so that really gave me the ability to create a fusion. You know, okay. different makosa, um, soca, malingi, all this high life. You know, juju style mm -hmm. and all that mixed with the style of music I do. So. When you okay. play, when you hear my CD, it's more I call it fusion mm -hmm. because you hear all style of music, mm -hmm. you know, um, rhythms in it. Okay, so that means that you, um, you do you, you're singing Ghanaian and um, dialect, do you, and you sing in American dialect. I mix. I, I sing in English. I sing in Ghana, lang Ghana language. I sometimes even translate the song in maybe Cameroon language or Congo language and sing it. Okay. Um, so. Um, you know, just to able to diversify my, you know, my audience and also what I do um, as far as creativity. So. Okay. And I see that um, you also, I believe, you play the guitar. Is that yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I play okay. bass guitar. I mean, that's that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so is that something that you play into the music too, or is that just a hobby that you do? No, I, I play. I still play with some, you know, artists. I've played for some artists before, but right now I kind of want to focus as artist Kobe Maxwell, okay. not the bass guitarist okay. that you know, you know, playing with Sean Paul, playing mm -hmm. with all these people, Nice World Song, Chaka Khan in the past. Oh, and wow, Chaka Khan. Yeah. yeah. How was that? How was that? <laughs> uh, I, I play jazz music, so, uh -huh. you know, with my influence, uh, I was playing with this Nigerian group um, called uh, Toby Foyer, mm -hmm. and he's um, Orchestra Africa, and we play African jazz music, and we have, we do a jazz festival, and I happen to play with him, and I was snatched by um, Check Account to play on one show for him. Wow. Um, the same thing I did for um, Nice Wars. And, and um, so that was like about four or five years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, before I started okay. focusing on releasing my album. And, you okay. know. Well, you're not only just um, a <laughs> small time Ghanaian artist, I see that you also performed in the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., and mm -hmm. also at the Radio City Music Hall in New York. How was that? It was, it was great. I mean, um, it's, 
you know, as you do what you do, if you, you know, really enjoy what you do, wherever the, you know, the, the opportunity and the talent will take you to, you, you go and you do what you do best. Um, it was a quite a, a very good experience for performing that audience. I mean, you're talking about massive, you know, different, you know, cr audience there and mm -hmm. playing your music and actually performing to them. Um, it was interesting, but I've been doing it way back, so I'm comfortable and I enjoyed it. The same as Radio um, City in New York and all that. So okay. it's, and I've, you know, with other jazz festivals with over 30,000 people um, performing to them. So it's, it's been a quite journey, you know, but I'm enjoying it day by day. Okay, and I see that um, you had a previous music video shot by Bill Cosby's sister, Miss Cosby. Oh, yeah. And um, I believe it was the Zanzibar in Washington, yeah. D.C. Yeah, yeah. So tell me how that came about. Wow, you're doing a lot of good research there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it was a very educational video. I actually went to Ghana, and there was a, a fashion that was going on. And, you know, the, the young ladies kind of reveal, you know, what they dress and expose themselves, you know. And when you tell, try to tell them that, oh, you are exposing, mm -hmm. and then they tend to tell you that I'm aware. So they're trying to let you know that they are aware that mm -hmm. they're exposing it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, they need, they want to dress, you know, dress comfortable, but they are losing the focus of how, you know, to really expose and also dress appropriate mm -hmm. in the public. So I wrote the song to educate the young ladies that you can be beautiful and classy and mm -hmm. well present yourself mm -hmm. without exposing yourself. Mm -hmm. So the video itself is very, is like, um, it's, we really had the video like a movie. Mm -hmm. So it kind of teaches you how this lady exposing herself and some point where I'm singing say, no, you are beautiful. You don't have to expose yourself to prove that you are, you are pretty. Okay. So it's very educational video. If you watch and Billy Cosby's sister, um, she directed the, the club scene in Zanzibar. Wow. Um, it was amazing. Was we that nerve wracking working with Bill Cosby's sister? No, <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was interesting because she, she like she's she's I think she's older than Cosby, and she's so funny that like when a lot of people are there and they are then she will go and slap you like stop making noise we really? are sad so she was very funny and very interesting um, working with okay. her yeah all right cool so you have been you have done a lot in your musical career as well as um, here in the USA and abroad mm -hmm. in um, Ghana is there any um, huge shows that you've done in the USA yeah. Um, I've done a lot of shows here in the U.S. as far as being an artist. Um, there's a lot of them, but when I was playing bass guitar for other artists, I've done with a, a lot of big names, Sean Paul, and like the names I mentioned. Hmm, Sean um, Paul. Yeah, but uh, as an artist... Well, you know what? Save that for the rest. Okay. We will be right back after these public service announcements with Mr. Maxwell. Don't go away. My name's Reggie. Just recently, my wife and I took in her sister's children. And we already had four, so I went from becoming a family man to a man with a bigger family. <clears throat> now, you can't eat love, so I don't know how I'm going to feed them tonight. How was that, Rich? I think I look more like Denzel. <laughs> That's cold, man. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. Welcome back to the Palava Hut TV show, and I'm your host, Donna Akibu. And just in case you missed the first portion of the show, we have Mr. Kobe Maxwell, who is a Ghanaian musical artist, and he's here to tell us all about his career and his musical journey. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Now, as you were saying before break, um, what are some triumph shows that you've had in the USA? Yeah, I've, I performed for um, award shows. Uh, last two years, I did a... Um, Miss, Miss Africa USA, uh, Miss Guinea USA. I also performed for um, Africans in um, um, California. They did mm -hmm. something called Spring Blank Show. Oh, okay. And they had uh, artists from all over different countries in Africa um, to perform. So um, those are few of shows that I've, I believe that have impact to the community, mm -hmm. you know, in the United States that, you know, all of people from different countries there and performing. Um, and I've also performed in most of a lot of universities over here in the okay. U.S. Yeah, they have African yeah, Student like Association. Of, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've performed for a lot of them from Michigan to 
uh, Pennsylvania to Townsend, you know, to name it. So um, I think uh, because my performance when I'm on stage, I perform with my dancers and we actually interpret the music in acting mm, to okay. the audience. So um, they tend to enjoy my performance. Okay. okay. <laughs> Well, before we go into your acting career, let's show our viewers one of your latest videos, which is called Do It. And it's here, and you're going to watch it right on the Flower Hut TV show. Kobe Maxwell, Do It. Yes. Oh, Shield. I hope you enjoyed that video just as much as I did. That was a very great video. Miss Cosby did a very great job. Thank you. That was a really, Thank really you. good video. I loved it. How did you go about getting Zanzibar? It's a huge club. Well, um, I've been performing there, so I know, you know, okay. I know the owners and stuff, and they're always willing to support what I do. Okay. And actually, Do It also become the soundtrack 
that actually performed in the movie. Um, oh, okay. So it's also it's a soundtrack for the movie mm -hmm. Paparazzi. Okay. And, um, I, I know people really enjoying the, the music itself, mm -hmm. the video. And when you watch the movie and you see, you know, my scene that mm -hmm. I was performing as an artist in the movie, you even enjoy it more. Okay. Well, yeah. um, we were just about to get on the topic of your wonderful acting career. So how does that go about with acting and being a movie producer? For the um, producing, I will quickly, you know, jump to the producing side because I mean, I, I enjoy that more. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been doing a soundtrack for a lot of Nollywood um, USA. Mm -hmm. uh, movies do the music and stuff for them, and uh, I, I always inspire that they can do better than you know what I see. Most of production quality and producing and stuff, location and stuff. And uh, um, so when I do music for them, I become more part of them. And I realize you know there's a lot of things that they take it lightly. They don't mm -hmm. really you know. So I decided to do something to to kind of show them you know. So I was challenged to do this film and um, able to produce it. Okay. And actually, it's my story. I came up with a story and um, um, produced it, cast it, and everything. And we decided to do something really different, like Nollywood, Hollywood, you know, mm, mix of. Okay. So it's it's very unique. Is the film itself is very educational. It's telling you how paparazzi film once you taking photos and mm -hmm. videoing yourself, what it may end up to be. So it really okay. to educate society, okay. you know, to learn so much about the, you know for the world mm -hmm. that we are living in now. You know? And you did um, a couple movie premieres yeah. in the USA as well as, mm -hmm. I believe, in Ghana? Yeah. No, we haven't uh, done Ghana yet. Um, okay. We'll be, we'll be, but we have done about 10 to 12 um, states okay. uh, premieres in the, U in the United States okay. so far. And all the cast were there. You know, we cast different people from all over different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, actress from the United States, you know, um, actor from different countries in Africa, mm -hmm. um, Cameroon, um, Liberia, um, Tanzania, and so oh, wow. on, Nigeria, Ghana, okay. Guinea. So it's really not labeled as Ghana movie yeah, or Nigeria okay. movie. It's, it's, it's a mix a, of everybody. Yeah, okay, that was, that's friend. really good. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, and I, I acted a little scene. <laughs> <laughs> so Kobe Maxwell, the producer, made sure he was in that movie, Paparazzi. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> so are there any other movie projects that you have in store? Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a new project uh, working on, inspired to probably shoot in August or September. Okay. Um, before I would depart to um, Africa for premiere okay. there and stuff. And actually, I'm releasing the Do It album um, um, actually this week. Oh, so wow. So basically, uh, um, Do It album will be out as well you know, okay. for the, the next project coming up too. Okay. All right. Yeah. And while we were talking, you um, told me that you casted someone from Tyler Perry's. Yeah. Movie? Yeah. She, her name is uh, Sarah Law. Mm -hmm. um, she's a dynamic actress. And I actually felt that, you know, once they get to know her more in Hollywood, she will, you know, of course, she, you in Tyra Perry's movie, you already, mm -hmm. yeah. but she didn't play like a major role. Mm -hmm. So people don't seem to, you know, recognize her like mm -hmm. that. But she's an amazing actress, um, um, good to work with. She played the lead role in Paparazzi. The female lead role. Okay. So you check it out and you understand, you know, you actually know what I'm talking about. Okay, cool. Very well. So um, what were some of your musical, how, when your musical career began, what influenced you to continue to pursue it? My influence has been um, um, a lot of people that inspired me, you know, in the past, like uh, groups, uh, individual, like Hima Sakela, Salificator, um, Osibisa, you know, Pat Thomas from Ghana, Fela. So these great, great musicians from back home inspires me because I've been playing their music while I'm young, you know, growing up, and actually inspires me that I can, especially him as a is my idol. Whenever he sees me here, he's like, hey, my son, just, <laughs> I've told you, don't stop music, you know, keep on playing. So mm -hmm. um, those are my inspiration, and I want to play authentic. I want to be playing African music and educate, you know, the other side whom don't know about African rhythms, you know, what we put together to make 6-8, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. So basically, um, those are my inspiration, and I'll continue to um, um, mix with still with the young, with the Western, mm -hmm. and, you know, still bring the authenticity of our African music, you know, in what I do. Okay. What challenges did you face to become who you are today? Um, that's an interesting question. Um, first of all, being in the United States and playing African music, 
the challenge is media publicity, you know, to be able to get it out there. Mm -hmm. It's so challenged that um, we are doing a great job. I mean, not only me, a lot of African artists in the U.S., but we don't, you know, a way to reach out for people to know what we're doing. So it's, that's a bigger challenge we're facing. And after some, some like I produce a film that is actually unique to a Hollywood theater mm -hmm. standard, but we can't even have a theaters to uh, premiere the, the movies for such a movie, educational movie for Americans to come and watch, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, those are the challenges we face, and there's a lot, a lot more, you know, but these are the major challenges we face as an, uh, you know, artist from another uh, country, another country mm -hmm. that are, you know, raising here okay. to get our stuff out there. Okay. So some shows like yours, Palaba mm -hmm. Hat, is have helpful. Okay. Well, I'm glad we are able to definitely assist you, and we're going to be back with more from you after the break. Palaba Hat TV show, don't go away. No posts for losing him. I'm shocking. I was at road all the time. I just had a few drinks. It just can't be happening. Are we clear? Clear. We were just buzzed. Just buzzed? You didn't tell us that, sir. You're right, this isn't happening. He'll be fine. Yeah, I feel good. Really? No, not really. Buzz driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Welcome back to the Palava Hut TV show, and I'm your host, Sana Akibu, and we have been sitting here chatting with Mr. Kobe Maxwell, who is a Ghanaian musical artist and also a producer. Mr. Maxwell, we have a couple questions from our viewers, and it's called From the Set to the City. And our first question is from Anyeka. She wants to know if she wants to become a musical artist, how should she do so? Well, I can first say is that, um, you know, it's, it should be a talent, first of all. And if you have the talent, there's a lot of challenges in, in talent or anything you do, education, whatever you, you are inspired to do. And you stay focused and, you know, meet all the challenges, but don't give up on that dream and pursue it and you will get there. If, if it's your talent with all the struggles, um, you're going to get there, you know. So um, just pursue it. Okay. Um, our second question is from Olumide, and this is actually a tweet that was sent in from, um, he's located in Nigeria. And he wants to know how hard is it to transition from an African artist to America? <laughs> well, of course, you know, back home, you know, we have access to a lot of things. So it's easy to see an artist here on the TV, on the radio, on the newspapers and stuff. But again, being here, um, it's a little difficult to get all those um, publicity and stuff like that. So um, that's why we're doing a lot of great things here, but sometimes they don't see it on back home. Thank God for the internet and stuff like that. So now they can see what we are doing here as well. So um, it's not easy, but it, it can be done. It's, it's, a, it's all about focus and, okay. you know, putting yourself out there to be able to make it up, okay. reach out to your audience. And our last question is from Ashley, and she Ashley. wants to know, how can she get into your next movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, before you, be, you will be cast to be in the movie, you have to um, audition okay. and, you know, audition to show your talent. Um, to me, if you can audition without the script and, you know, do um, reading, co-reading or whatever to show me your talent, mm -hmm. that will tell me how you can play when you get the script to okay. memorize. So um, if you have the gift and talent, just be ready and uh, find out when I'm doing my casting and you can come and audition. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Well, that's all the questions we have from the set to the city. Good. So let's get back into what are you doing right now and what are some of the projects that are coming up? Oh, gosh. It's a busy summer coming <laughs> up. Very busy. Um, well, of course, my CD release was just, you know, um, a week. And it was great. It's going to be uh, the CD is out there. Um, you can find it on my website. You know, you can find it out at um, the internet and whatsoever. I what is your website, by the way, before you continue? Uh, KobeMaxwell.com. Okay. KobeMaxwell.com and all the social network. I'm okay. There. Yeah, and then I have upcoming show. Like next week, I'm going to be premiering the movie and also uh, slash my CD release party Okay. Um, over in Minnesota. Okay. And the biggest show I'm actually expecting to do before I leave to Africa um, it's maybe you may think you have seen all or you have heard of African culture, African music and stuff. Now, 
You haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> we haven't seen nothing yet, huh? Yeah, until you come to um, July 9th. July oh. 9th is the biggest show that I'm expecting um, in my career, like, you know, really performing with a bunch of dancers. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually going to do with a live band, but uh, we're still discussing that. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's called Afro Exposure. Mm, where, I've where, heard about that. Yeah, exactly. It's supposed to be a huge event in huge. the um, DMV where you and a lot of people are coming out. You know, African designers, mm -hmm. African dancers, drummers, um, poetry, um, food culture. It's, it's unique artists from different countries going to be mm -hmm. performing. Um, so it's a really, really and a bigger event that I'm, I think that will be my last bigger event to okay. do before I, I, um, I depart to. That's actually uh, coming up in a, about a couple of weeks or so. Yeah, I months, believe it yeah, is. Yeah. 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 Okay. July 9th is right, okay. Out, you know, right around the, the corner. corner. Yeah. Okay, so we should, and where is that going to be? It's so you can be, tell our viewers? Yeah, it's going to be in uh, Montgomery County, um, Silver Spring. Okay. Um, is this a art, art performing art center? Oh, the cultural over there. arts the center, center in um, yeah. Silver, Spring. Silver Spring. Okay, that's where it's gonna be. Okay, if you want to see African culture, that's where you want to be. Okay, in July 9th. All right, so Afro exposure. Afro so exposure. viewers, check out Afro exposure July 9th in the Cultural Arts Center in Silver Spring, Maryland. And of course, I'm gonna be performing. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to miss Mr. Kobe Maxwell performing at the Afro Exposure event. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So besides that, what else is coming up in the future? And then after that, there's more shows. Okay. I'm performing in California, the Bay Area. Um, I'm gonna be performing here um, again in DC area, okay. and then the other state that you know, New York City, mm -hmm. because I'm still playing the movie alongside my new album. Okay. So um, there's a couple of shows to do, and then I'll, in September or so, I'll be departing to um, um, back home um, to do other things over there. Okay. But then, of course, I'll be back. Okay. I'll be back. And, oh, definitely. You know, do some more stuff. So, you know, you can find a lot of things about me, you know, simply when you go to the internet. My previous shows, um, performing on stage with live band, um, with somewhere on TV station, back home, and all that. So okay. um, you have a lot of information to okay. learn from. Well, um, thank you very much for coming to the show. We had so much to talk about. Your musical career, your music producing, your, um, your movie producing, your movie. And I hope you guys learn all that you can about Mr. Kobe Maxwell. Check out his website at www.kobemaxwell.com. And make sure to check out Afro Exposure July 9th at Silver Spring, Maryland. That's all, folks. Thanks for tuning in to the Palava Hut TV show. And I'm your host, Sana Akibu. We will see you next time at the Palava Hut show. Uh. Palabra Hood, discuss about the ethics and community Palabra Hood, worldwide trace and the politics Palabra Hood, entertainment, fashion, keep the musical Palabra Hood, international, you can come to the Palabra Hood Discuss about the ethics and community Palabra Hood, worldwide trace and the politics Palabra Hood, entertainment, fashion, keep the musical Palabra Hood, international, you can come to the Palabra Hood Chess board, kings and queens, life is like a circle Palabra Hood is the brain for politics.